Hey everybody, welcome to Sunny School and welcome to the very first training video. I am so excited to be sharing with you this fun hands-on English program that is filled with creativity that your kids will love. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at what we will be covering today. First, what is Sunny School? Second, the four seasons of Sunny School. We hope that this video will help you get acquainted to the program and help you prepare for a successful year. Let's get started. The Sunny series is designed for preschool students. This learning style is often known as PBL that stands for project-based learning. Teachers with a Western education background might be more familiar with. The goal of this program is to have fun through hands-on experiences and for the students to gain natural exposure to authentic English language. Along with the books come audio CDs, hands-on activities, class aids, a teacher's big book, along with access to Google Drive for extra media resources. As the Sunny series is designed based on project-based learning, every month you will be provided with a range of materials. These are directly related to the seasons and holidays that will keep your classes engaged, active, and fun. Now that we took a look at the main goals and methods of the Sunny series, let's take a closer look into the themes and lessons of the year divided by seasons and some of the highlight activities of each book. Each season has three books, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Each month is divided into two parts. For instance, the month of March is divided into my body and my moving body. The parts are then divided into two units. Each unit consists of three language-based classes and one activity-based class. As you can see inside the book, each month is divided into two parts, and the two parts are then divided into three units of language-based classes and one activity-based class. Now, let's have a brief overview of what each season looks like in Sunny School. Here we have the three books of spring. The first book of spring is titled, I Like Me. It starts the school year by teaching the students how to introduce themselves and talk about basic body parts. The students especially like making their own faces in the clay activity. During April, the students learn about having fun during the season of spring through the book, Spring is Fun. The cotton candy and muddy puddles activities are two of the highlights among many different fun activities. And since May is Family Month in Korea, the students learn about appreciating and expressing their love towards their families through the book, My Loving Family. Students love baking cookies and playing with the foam stickers that represent each family member. Next, we move on to summer. During June, we start the summer season with a book Time to play. The book is filled with fun summer activities, including a rocket that has a balloon inside. In July, the book Summer Fun is filled with fun games and activities related to the beach and cute sea animal friends. During August, the students will learn about traveling and basic traffic and safety rules in book Let's Go Away. Moving on to the season of fall, we start the season with yummy surprises. The students will learn about delicious food and basic table manner phrases. The next book is called Happy Fall. The students will learn about seasons of fall, including fun Halloween-related activities. During the month of November, the students learn about music through the book Musical Day. 
where they can make their own instruments and play. Last but not least, we have winter. During the last month of the year, December, the students learn about having fun in the snow with different winter animals and Christmas activities through the book, Let It Snow. In January, when the new year begins, students learn about basic math concepts, such as how to count, along with shapes and colors in the book, Little Genius. By the last month of the year, we expect the students are better adjusted and more fluent in the language. So they will practice speaking politely to others using the book, How Sweet. So that wraps up the first introduction of the Sunny series. Thank you for sticking around, and we hope you found this video helpful. Some of you might be excited to be teaching this program, but I'm sure some of you out there might be a little overwhelmed by all the different activities. So, in our next video, we will help you by breaking down the basic outlines of the teacher's guide, so you can effectively prepare for your class. We recommend that you bring your teacher's packet for your next training video. Once again, thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> please like and subscribe. For more videos, please click here. Thank you. <laughs>